Uh, good afternoon, viewers. My name is Mkholi Singube, and we are back again with another interview for the day. Uh, right now, we are joined in the studio by uh, a diaspora-based Zimbabwean. Uh, you state where he's based. Uh, his name is Kerry, Ngetisi Kerry Twala. I hope most of you, especially those who are regulars on Facebook, know him quite well. Baba Twala, uh, welcome to the AVG News uh, broadcast. Uh, yeah, well, my, thank you very much for having me here. Yes, uh, but before we talk about that, would like you to formally introduce yourself, tell us briefly who Neti Sikeritwala is, just briefly. Uh, first, uh, I'm, a, I'm a Zimbabwean, uh, I'm an activist, human rights activist, uh, social commentator, and um, that's briefly who I am. Yes, uh, you left out that you're a temperamental commentator. Uh, uh, most of the people right now, I know that most of them, as they are listening right now, there's a question that, that is behind their minds. Before we get into today's topic, in uh, Samba, tell me, what's the motivation behind uh, in Samba? Uh, let me, let me uh, give you an example. Uh, before I even uh, 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 tell you uh, which was the motivation. Uh, I think us as Africans, even the Europeans, the Americans, uh, at their homes, we always have weapons. Uh, let me say you, you have an opcare in do, no mkonto, uh, but do you use mkonto on a daily basis? The answer is no. You keep it at your house, just in case something happens. Some of those uh, weapons actually will stay a lifetime without being used. But the day when you see me carrying an op carry or umkondo, it is a statement. So now let us talk about Islam, uh, which I love uh, so much, by the way, and it works uh, uh, wonders. Uh, when somebody uh, fights with you physically, they inflict pain by hitting you or doing something. But there is another way whereby you, I mean, there's another uh, time when you deserve to be beaten physically, which we discourage. We don't want to do that. So we throw in Shamba Wuwe. So we try emotional. In Shamba is a tool. In Shamba is very useful. In Shamba is a big statement. They have said a lot. So it might look like in Samba is useless, in Samba is funagal, in Samba is funagal, you go at that, you can call in Samba. So in a way, okay, so in a way, can we say this is born out of frustrations that you cannot use any other means to try and address some of the concerns that you'll be having, but at the end of the day, this is the only weapon that you are left with. No, that is not true. Uh, it, it's not that it's the only weapon. Uh, if you choose to attack somebody attacking you or your family using an op care, it doesn't mean we can do your your do weapon. Oma is seven six. Oma seven sum kondo. Oma mti chile la ngeli. We as kete. Mina I chose it. And uh, remember here. Uh, we have an audience, uh, 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 our community, that is Gallipo, uh, that, that loves drama. So there is, there is a reason why I'm dramatic and use that vulgar. Otherwise, I wouldn't have said something you listen. So I spice it up in Shamba to attract your attention. And that has worked wonders. Yeah, I think that makes a lot of sense. Now, uh, you obviously have family that come with social media. You have yes. friends that come with social media. Do they maybe privately talk to you and say, but why are you doing this? Uh, most, of the, uh, <laughs> most of the people actually understood uh, that before, I, before they, 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 they even had to talk to me. They knew, I'm, I'm glad you're talking about family. They know who I am. If you find me at my house, 
you wouldn't see the character that you see doing activism on social media. It's totally different. You see, uh, a construction worker wears boots and hard hats when they're on the construction site. They don't dress like that when they're in their bedroom. So we must learn to differentiate. Okay, no, I think that one has been clear. Now let's get to, to, to today's topic. We'll talk, we'll unpack, we'll unpack more about Gary in the next few weeks because we want this to be uh, a topical, I mean, a, a, a weekly uh, column of some sort where we talk to Ukeri, for those that might be interested in hearing more about him, you can send them questions in via the comments uh, box. But for now, there's a topical issue that is there, Wabulawai, uh, which I've also been caught up in. And I'm glad we seem to be in opposing uh, sections in as far as this issue is concerned. The issue of uh, the shield that was removed from Ibulawai Airport. Before I say my own view, before I ask other questions, what is your take on the removal of uh, the black and white shield from Joshua Nkomo uh, International Airport? I think that was very disrespectful uh, because um, that emblem is a symbol uh, that carries a, a lot with it. And I see you any time. And the other thing is, whenever we, 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 we want to do something around such things, I think it is very important that we, the people who belong to that area, are consulted. A decision cannot be made about, is it Rosanga, Don't you think, Tina? Why are we not allowed to make decisions about stuff that is in our region? in our community that has to do with us. Okay. Uh, let me break it down a bit so that we understand uh, the importance of such uh, uh, symbols. Those symbols, they carry our history. They are our pride. We use such a, this could be a tree, could be balancing rocks, and all the, 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 the stuff that is displayed on those type of, of, of things. They, they talk, they tell a story about us. It is our pride. Because the That is disrespectful. It is disgusting. That is why we end up getting to a point where we coin that word because of their actions. They act like Okay, and then the other there is the other school of thought is uh i think you saw the statement of course i don't think there are many there, is, there are many people who believe in the statement uh, this shield was put in there in 2013 as a temporary thing and now it has been removed because of the pet workmanship we are talking about something that has been there for nine years but let's put that aside uh, the other school of thought is when this shield was put in there there was no consultation now it's been taken away the there is an outcry. So does indeed follow if there was not consultation when it was put, therefore there is no need for consultation when it is taken out. What's your take on that? Uh, there is a need uh, uh, for, 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 for consultation. Uh, let me say this, if you do something good, uh, you know, amongst us within our community, we'll be happy about, even if you didn't consult us, in a way, you have consulted us by doing that which we are happy about. You have stolen our hearts, you have gotten our attention, you have gained some, some, some trust. Uh, we think that you respect us because you selected something very important, like Ihaulegian. That means that person knew very well, this is this people's pride. This uh, symbol is very important to these people. That is why they chose it. Now we are tempted to think that they've gone against it because they are trying to wipe anything that symbolizes the, 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 uh, the pride of the, these Nguni people. And to support that, uh, if you look at the history of Zimbabwe, which many of you actually don't know, uh, the contributions of the Zipra forces 
which were actually the force behind the liberation of Zimbabwe. They con their contributions were higher than those of, uh, of Zanda, but they are, it, it is never talked about. Not even a single day does this uh, 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 unruly party, unruly government, uh, actually uh, compliments and celebrates the contributions of the people who brought about the independence. Why are they wiping away all that? Okay. That is a question we will, we will talk about some other day. So here, why I'm talking about this, I'm trying to make you understand why we are angry. Okay. And then I think you have seen some split uh, opinion in as far as Ikhaw is concerned. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yes, I, I, I'm saying, I think you have, you, you have seen a split of opinion when it comes from, I mean, when it comes to Indaba Yekhaw, especially from the people of Matemelene who are the ones who are mainly concerned uh, in this issue. There are some who say that it was necessary for the shield to be removed because it doesn't wholly represent the people of Matemelene in a way it's a, it pushes, it further uh, enforces the Anglo-colonial agenda whereby Mdebeles are seen to be superior in the province, where they are also Kalangas, they are Kosas, they are the Sutu, they are the Tonga. So how do you respond to that? Do you believe that the Ndebeles should be illuminated above these other uh, tribes? I don't know why do you really have time to pay attention uh, to naysayers, to, 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 to just noise makers. Remember, uh, we live in a world of technology whereby uh, we now have the privilege of just commenting just about anything, irregardless of us knowing about it. We just, we just comment. Some people just talk. Now, I want to talk about the, the, the people who say it was necessary. It's not uh, the, 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 the shield actually seem to have excluded other people. Those are people who don't understand the nation of Mtwaras. They don't know about it. They, they don't know what constitutes Mtwaras as a nation. That is why whenever we talk about Matebele, people think that we are only talking about the level. Mtwaras is a nation. It has been there long back. It is a nation that includes the Tonga, the Venda, all these people that stand up and say, oh, we're being excluded here because this shield seems to, to be a symbol of only the, 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 the Aman Devel, the missing Devel, which is not true. These are the people who actually don't know their history. They don't know. Who is Mutwaras? So these are people who actually do not have much knowledge about themselves, yet they have mouths to comment about that which they don't know. Okay. It's very sad. And, and then the government, I don't know if you saw their statement. They are saying that uh, they have gone to tender for a new uh, signage, which is going to be wholly representative of the people. And they say that consultations are ongoing. Do you believe that? No, that is a lie. That is a lie. Why should they talk about consultations now after an incident where people have complained about something? They are trying to justify their evil uh, actions. They are just to, they are, they are trying to justify their hatred. They never consult us. It's all about them. They just make the decisions and do whatever they want to do. That is why even today, if I may bring a much bigger example, an example of elections. Elections are just a ritual to sanitize their region, to sanitize their dictatorship. Yeah. You vote, whatever you, you do on the ballot box doesn't, is not reflected by the results that are announced. So much rigging, waste of money, waste of time. So let's say the consultations are ongoing. Who do you think will be key to be consulted? Do they consult the chiefs? Do they consult everyone on the street? Do they do a survey? Who do you think should be consulted in as far as the signage is concerned, if they are genuine about that? Uh, the problem that we have today is that uh, the, 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 the system of governance is corrupt it itself. It doesn't allow genuine operations or genuine actions within uh, the society. If we were to, to be wise, like our forefathers, uh, we will do what they used to do. Uh, I, 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 I know you are very young, but uh, I want to believe uh, you lived in a, 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 during an era whereby uh, 
Uh, most of us lived uh, in, in, in villages, in rural areas. Now, what used to happen there if there was something happening uh, in the area, be it projects or whatever, the, 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 the village health men, they call in Shana meetings. Everybody was involved. You would not attend as Mr. Nube in the village. They will come in and, and ask you, why are you not participating? Why, do, why didn't you attend this? That was a way of making sure that everybody is included in whatever is going on within the community. So to answer your question, it is very important that they leave that to the chiefs because these are the people who consult the people and then they will forward their findings or, 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 or the results of the survey and stuff like that. Then everybody will have a way to speak. Uh, considering now the partisanship that the chiefs have been accused uh, of, of having, do you think any process that involves the chiefs would come out uh, genuinely, would be a genuine uh, process? I, I definitely don't think so. Uh, we have allowed so much uh, 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 nonsense you know, in society such that nonsense itself now looks normal. We, we don't have okay. chiefs actually. There might be maybe three or four in the whole country. Rest of them are, 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 are in positions of the, of, the, of the unruly party, which you call the ruling party. That is an unruly party. They pick up people and, 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 and impose them on people as the leaders, as the chiefs. So we have a country that is messed up because of this system. We have a lot of work to do. I'm, I, I'm telling you, it, 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 it is so chaotic such that even if tomorrow you were given all the money to hold the elections, those elections will be meaningless because they won't reflect the, 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 the actual uh, vision and choices of the people because of people who have been imposed. That is why today you have ambassadors who are useless, who actually are, are, are posted, they, they are pushing the agenda of the unruly party. But yet you say that's the Zimbabwean ambassador. That's not. That person is representing a certain uh, people who belong to a certain cult. Okay. Uh, perhaps as a last question, but I will give you uh, an either or about five questions after this question, after you answer this question. But for no now, let's say Gary Twala is put on the spot and say it come up with the signage that is going to be wholly representative of the people. We want to put it up at the Joshua Nkomo uh, International Airport. What would that uh, signage depict for you? What would you go for? Would you go for Ihau or would you go for something else or you'd go for Ihau eating something else? What would you go for? I, I, I would actually uh, go with what the people want. What is it that we can, we can use as a people, uh, uh, you know, of which at the end of the day will feel represented or feel this is our pride. This, this actually defines us. It cannot be my personal choice. But what I cannot put there is a man here that I can't do so well, and then you know, we're supposed to display them. Okay, uh, now I'm gonna give you at least five questions where you have to okay. go for one. The first one, Highlanders or Dynamos? Highlanders. Nelson Chamisa or Emerson Mnangaku? None of the above. Okay. Mkondi Simoyo, Welshman Nubi? None of the above. <laughs> Bonke, they have a culture, Yobuzan, Parat. I wonder about ladies, Kwama Zabo, the Sevenza, Ushupo, Rabantu. Okay. Rumba o maskand. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. Um, thank you very much, my brother. Uh, we will invite you again next week, same time, same place. We're going to make this one a, a weekly column whereby we invite you here to talk about especially the top, most topical issues of the day. 
Oh, thank you for having me, but I have a complaint. Uh, I think it's very important next time that when you invite us here, yes. make sure we take the William come to it here. <laughs> okay, we'll make sure of that. We'll make sure of that. We hope you are going to find our sponsors to sponsor that because we're just poor people living in Johannesburg. <laughs> Otherwise, thank you very much for your time. Uh, we'll talk thank to you very you much. Uh, we're looking forward to uh, having more... Uh, Consultations, debates, topics to talk about. Thank okay. you so much. Thanks.